here is the house from the north and I have always seen this cut tree from the house and now I see it's a sculpture. Seems like it's a baby upside down. It's also one of the sculptors sculptures of the the artist who has been living here for 40 years. Here you see the house from the direction north looking to the south. Right now I'm cleaning the door of the toilet. I thought it's the easiest thing to do so because it's the smallest room. But you have really to see what's coming out. I wanted to move, remove a bit of the white color because it was really not well painted. And by that you can see this. There's a lot of colorful things coming out and some art gravings. So this is interesting because for me it's a thing about expectation. I chose this subject to work on because I thought it's the easiest. And now every layer I take off I discover something new. Now working on this door I discover more and more of the artist who has been living here for so long time. I see also the beauty in his works, not just the penises and vaginas and the huge gigantic sculptures. This is a very fine work and I'm really really figuring out that I love this artist. Even people say that he was very mean and very angry. He appeared to me twice. One time in the morning where I'm not, I don't know if I was still sleeping or whatever. He walked through the room carrying a bucket and the other time he looked at me, had a beard and nearly bald head and clapped on his legs. So I think I have also kind of task here to be very decent and gentle with the things he left behind. And uh, this is the thing with expectation I want to talk to you. Just came out of the forest after a quite long walk not knowing where I'm going. And finally, when I came out, I recognized the site. It's a head where I sometimes walk over from my house. So here we go again with, again with an expectation. I took the dog and my bikini and I was planning to go to the little lake, which is close by because I thought I have, I'm in the nature, the weather is nice. And I know it will take me about one hour and then I can continue to work. But this is like planning, planning. And then when I walked, all of a sudden I saw a path where I never went and I took this one. And so you can always decide, decide between exploring or kind of knowing, planning your future. So for me, expectation is always better than hope because hope has a kind of still a negative connotation of a victim like maybe it's happening I'm hoping for better thing but if I expect it it's kind of clear but it should for me it's important this are kind of positive expectations and they shouldn't be too precise like in a big range of possibilities I expect, for example, from this place on the countryside that I can relax and that I'm in the nature, but not more details. And then the expectation can be fulfilled and you are happy because this is all where happiness comes from when you have the feeling that there is some relief in your life, that you got something that you always wanted.